Yo, what's up guys? Gecko here, and we are back for more Cassette Beasts. We are about to face off against another Archangel, this time with Viola at our side, as we attempt to find her missing brother, her dead brother. We're not really sure yet what happened to him. But uh, this Archangel may have answers. I love how the Magic Crab is just always here, no matter which one we go to. The air here sits heavy in my lungs. This place has been in slumber for an age. I can feel it. Well, it was in a sunken ship. I mean, the ship kind of crashed around the subway entrance, which is interesting. This is no place for us, Gecko. The very floor beneath our feet cries out as such. We are not welcome here. Um, well, I've done this many times, so <laughs> this is not new to me. Yeah, no, I, I feel it. It's, it's pretty wrong here, but this is old news for us. I was expecting more. Oh, don't don't worry. I must ask for quiet, please. All the world's a stage, and the show is about to begin. What? What show? Who are you? Why, I am but merely a wanderer of the night. They call me Hobgoblin and Puck. Oh, hi. You're like a horse person. I am Robin Goodfellow. Not even person, it's just a horse standing up. And you and I, Viola of Messaline, share much history. Oh? <gasps> this spirit, I've not seen another like it. It is as if it is not meant for our world. To even look upon it feels heretical. But it knows her? I discovered this book among the remains of the ship. A curious read. Let me see, page 645, Twelfth Night. The comedy of Viola of Messaline, who is shipwrecked on an unknown country. Uh. I do not understand. Yes, here I am, page 365, A Midsummer Night's Dream. A story of fairies, of King Oberon, Queen Titania, and the trickster Robin Goodfellow. Wait, was Oberon the um, brother's name? My dear Viola, you and I, we are merely inventions of a mortal playwright, a Mr. William Shakespeare in particular. Oh, w really? Our stories are not our own. Sebastian is not here, and he will never be here. Oh, Sebastian was the name. Never mind. Why do I feel like I heard the name Oberon in this game somewhere? Wait, where did that come up? That is so familiar. I am so sorry that I can't remember right now where we've heard that. You will only find your brother when your tale demands. So she's a character, too. Because, like, we know that's possible because of Kuneko being in this world. Does this Robin Goodfellow speak the truth, Gecko? Are these stories he reads known in your world? I mean, yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean that she's fictional. Because if, if this is like a multiverse kind of game where people are coming from all these different worlds that are a bit different from each other, it's possible she's a real person where she's from. And then there's some weird, you know, multidimensional thing where, oh, in our world... Uh, she's not, and someone wrote about this character named Viola. But that doesn't mean she's not real. But it is true that these stories Thank are you. in my world, yes. Thank you. You know I speak the truth. Let the truth of it wash over you. Let it pull you into its depths until you can no longer gasp for air. I believe. I believe. <laughs> I believe your truth changes nothing. Hell yeah, get it, girl. It may be that in Gecko's land, I am but a story. Who is to say Gecko is not a tale in mine? True, very true. This future that has been written for me is but words on paper. I defy them! I'll let her have that line. How unexpected. This play is even greater than I could have hoped. Come, let us see the final act. Oh, the music, man. Oh no, it changed now. I, I thought that was gonna be the music in the battle too. I'm like, this is different vibes. Let's do it, Viola. Let's do it, Viola. Okay. Um, I'm gonna lower your defense and steal some AP if we can. And then we might be able to fuse at the end of this turn if this goes the way that, oh, status was blocked. I like this one's design. It's, it's much more like simple than the other ones, but it's really cool. Gecko. The overwhelming hand of fate may push against us, but... 
we shall not perish upon this day. Our story does not end here. Hell yeah. We look weird as fuck, but we're gonna fight this thing together. Oh, we're asleep. Shit. Uh, we're gonna wake up first. Oh, we're out of those. We don't, we don't have... Never mind. We're not gonna wake up. Well, we'll try to summon Tulpa if we can. Nightmare. Oh, that heals you. I don't like that. Good thing you're burned to kind of counteract it. We're gonna have so much AP, man. Well, we already do. We're already maxed out. We just can't use it. Okay, you're just gonna heal up. That is so annoying. Fairy dust. What does this do? More sleep? Are you serious? Brother. Wait, this is not good. Is it just gonna have us asleep the whole time? Trick. Okay, I don't care about speed right now because it's not like we can do anything. Fairy Horde. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna keep adding sleep to us. We might need to reset and go buy an item that wakes us up. I think we used one last um, last episode, or like we used one in the recent past here, uh, which is why we don't have one right now. But it'll just put us to sleep again, right? And I assume Nightmare only works if we're asleep, I would have to think. I mean, we'll heal up here, but it's probably just gonna use another sleeping move. Okay, now we woke up, but this will put us back to sleep. Yeah, okay. We need to reset and um, have an item that wakes us up. Oh, we had a landkeeper show up in the cafe. Uh, landkeeper? Let me guess, you're crawling back for revenge after we brought down your whole operation, huh? But are you actually a zombie? Hmm. Eugene, I think there's something wrong with her. I think she's broken. What? Uh, I think you might be right. Sorry. Sorry about the hostile reception. Why don't you take a seat and we can get to know each other? Were they being like mind controlled well. or something? So, uh, are you feeling okay? Can you tell us about yourself? Profits down. The land keepers were minions of an archangel we defeated. Maybe when their boss fled, all their brains got fried? I still don't trust her. No, no job prospects. Mm -hmm. She doesn't exactly have a sunny disposition, does she? <laughs> sunny? Why don't we call her Sunny? We have to call her something. Or you could ask her name. She's a person. Sunny. Sunny. Do you remember anything? Landkeepers land bankrupt. Nothing left. Why still here? Maybe the landkeepers only exist to carry out their jobs, and now she doesn't know what else there is to do. Like a machine without a purpose. Ah, okay, so Eugene is saying that, like, the landkeepers actually, like, created them, and they're not actually people that existed before? Is that what they mean, or am I reading that wrong? That's a possibility, though. Maybe they aren't people who already lived here that got brainwashed. They could have actually been just brought here or created by, by an archangel. You poor thing. There's still plenty of time for you to make a fresh start. What? Fresh start? Maybe the first step is getting you some new clothes, Sonny. I'm sure wearing that office outfit all day is pretty miserable. Then it's agreed. Gecko, let's meet up at Harbor Town's Tailor. It's on the upper level of Harbor Town, just north of here. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we can do that while they're in town. Well, we're in town. Um, hi, Sonny. Uh... Can I, can I rest with Sunny? Oh no, okay, Viola takes their seat. Okay, um, so we do not have any like stickers that make us resistant or immune to sleep or status. However, not party, I believe the, the is it called Jelly Ton? The jelly creatures block status, I believe. Um, which might be the key to winning this. Let me check your tape. Acid reflex, no. Liquid body, prevents the user from being inflicted with burn, but makes all incoming ice. Oh, it's only burn, Never mind. I thought it was just status in general. 
That would be pretty broken, actually. Is there a monster that's immune to sleep, though? Is the question. I guess we can we can look through our monsters in a minute here. I do want to go look at the awakening items and how many we can hold at once. Because the problem with that strategy is that it can just put us right back to sleep if we can only have like one with us at a time. Welcome. So let me double check how this works. So sleep cure. Well, we can hold three of them. Uh, it doesn't use up your turn either. I mean, we might as well stock up on these. Even if the strategy doesn't end up being foolproof, we might as well have them with us for this fight. Um, and then let's check if we have monsters that are immune to sleep. Um, it's hard to know if we've come across any because like we haven't really tried to put stuff to sleep in a while. Um, like we did that sometimes with Dandelion and Blossom Aw, but like not enough to know everything about these monsters. Okay, we've already used all these guys. Uh, Jellyton, Catelli, Neko. We've used these. Pondwalker. What is Metal Wall? Where are you? Check tape. So, oh, that's never mind. That's putting up a wall. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that. You have Crossfade, Smack and Focus, Smack and Sprint. Okay, at least of the ones that we own right now, we don't have any that are unable to be put to sleep. Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting fight. This is tough. Um, we'll do that in a minute. I do want to go to the tailor and see how this plays out. Oh, we should check stickers. Hold on. While we're here, let's check the sticker shops. We got Poison Pollen. We got Crystal Lens. Super Heated Fist. A melee fire move. Hurricane hits a whole team and destroys walls. That's kind of sick. We can also buy preemptive strike. Automatically hits an opponent at the start of battle. I wonder who else can learn this though, besides Masquerade, because we already have that. I, if I bought this, I don't know if anyone else could use it. We could, we have a lot of resources. Why don't we look at the other stickers that are available? And if we're not gonna spend our resources on anything else, we might as well just get that and see if someone can use it. Two heads, automation, chance to use the next move in the list for zero AP at the end of the turn. We actually do have that one already, we just haven't used it. Burning passion, automatically raises ranged and melee attack whenever the user gains the burned status. Burn doesn't come up a whole lot though. Although I guess if you have um, something weak to fire, hey. then that would come up a lot. Like anytime you're fighting a fire type, I guess, that will probably happen to you. We got Beast Coating, Gambit. I think we have Gambit already. Do we? That, oh, wait, excuse me? Wait, nope. I, we have seen this on um, Queenix. That's what it is. We don't have it. We've seen it used though. This is the one. Yes, raises all your stats, but then you literally die after three turns. Avalanche. All melee attacks fail this round. Oh. Wait, that's that's interesting. That's really interesting. I don't know if we're gonna use this, but I kinda wanna get one just to have it. Especially since it's an uncommon version. This is fun. I'm just gonna get this just, just for fun. Maybe we'll use it at some point. And then since we have the money for it, let's just get the preemptive strike just to have another one of these. Okay. Now let's see if anyone can actually use it. Because I think last time I bought stickers, I didn't actually put them on anybody. <laughs> I just want to see who can use it. Oh, was it at the bottom? Yeah, preemptive strike. Okay, you cannot. You can. Preemptive strike from Trifinks. Okay. Who else? Can you learn this? You can learn preemptive strike. And your attack is very good. It would actually be really good on Mascotorn. Um, maybe I'll do that. Instead of what? Maybe instead of multi-smack? Replace this with preemptive strike. Cool. I'm gonna move this down so it doesn't get in my way. Kind of like the passives to either all be at the end uh, or the start. Although the end is pretty nice. Okay, 
Um, I like your moveset already. What was the other... Oh, the Gambit. I don't think I want to put Gambit on something right now. I feel like that's something we'll use if there's, like, a tough fight and we're not sure what to do. Like, our strategy isn't working. We could try going for a Gambit. Like, hey. here we go. Okay. Oh, hey, everyone's here. <sighs> I'm still not sure we should be helping her out. Are you forgetting the time her former, former employer tried to take over the island? That's on the employer, not her. <laughs> I am curious. Perhaps this will be entertaining? Huh? Right, Sunny. I'll take you back here and you can pick out some new outfits. Okay. Okay. She's so cute. I like her voice acting. I also really like the art and expressions uh, for her, too. This, okay? Uh, I'm not sure about this, Kaylee. Eugene, I I mean, I kind of get it, but also you need to chill. Hmm. hmm, perhaps this maiden is even more unfamiliar with the styles and fashions of this land than I. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one, Sunny. If that's what she likes, if that's what she wanted to wear, that's fine. Okay. I'm not sure. That's not the direction I was expecting you to go. You don't look super comfortable in that, Sunny. How about we try another? I... Oh, she's so cute! I love her! I think I look good. You do! Oh, your hair's I... down, too. I... Eugene? Uh, did this spark something in Eugene? Kaylee, is it just me, or is Sunny... Uh absolutely gorgeous no that's not just you everyone's hitting on sunny right now my girl is beautiful quite unexpected quite you just have to find the style that suits you you look cool sunny you look great okay this is me now oh she's so cute thanks, thanks for the help all of you oh my gosh i love her i have some very mixed emotions right now i love everything that is happening right now <laughs> we're glad to be able to help you sunny Harbor Town lets everyone have a fresh start. It's only fair that that includes zombie estate agents. Landkeepers are not zombies. Landkeepers are vessels created to work. Oh, so they were just created. Oh, that's actually really sad. Not anymore. From now on, I will try to be Sunny instead. Oh. I have had Sunny for one minute, but if anything happened to her, I would kill myself and everybody in this room. <laughs> Haunt is equipped. The user becomes a ghost and cannot be hit by attacks for three. Oh, but after three turns, it breaks. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? This gives Wraith form from Slay the Spire. It works very, very similarly to this. Although in that game, you don't actually die, but your your block starts going down every single turn. So you basically will be murderized if you, you know, if it's more than three turns and you're not a ghost anymore. That is really cool, actually. Hi, Sunny. Hey, Gecko. Oh, precious. My heart is full of warmth and joy now. Okay, I think it's time to go try to do this Archangel again. Um, luckily, since it's a subway station, we can just fast travel there. All right, Robin, what you got? I like the laugh it has because it's it sounds kind of horsey at the same time. We could set up, if we set up a wall right now, does that carry over to our fusion? We might as well try it, because, well, I, I guess, oh, wait a minute. No, that's that's not what I thought it was. Somebody has um a way to make you berserk, right? Or was that only because of type advantage? I was like, somebody has a way to make it so that they cannot use status moves, but it's it's not us, so. I guess set up a wall turn one and uh, I guess just AP steal. Failed. Can we, maybe we can't do that to Archangels. I feel like I've tried that before and it's never worked. Oh, now I'm Berserk. Ooh, that's okay. I guess that's fine. We were probably mostly going to attack as a fusion anyway. Oh, the, the wall went away. Okay. Well, at least we know now. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. That was just... It, it momentarily went away. Let's just try to get a bunch of fucking status on you if that's what you're going to do to us anyway. 
It'll just be a battle of statuses. Okay, drain your AP. Trick. Ooh, I didn't see the name of that. I feel like we've seen that symbol before, though. I forget what that is. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going for this. It would be nice to build up a headshot, but... Ooh, AP drain again. Okay, our wall's gone. Should we set up another one? It doesn't seem to be going for the sleep uh, when we're awake. Neutralize. Okay. Should I set up another wall? Wait, where is it? Huh? Oh, because we're berserked right now. That's why. We can't set up a wall right now. We're just going to go for damage. Oh, perfect. That was such a good roll. Berserk is exactly what we needed. We might not even need the awakening items. Depending how this goes. I'm just gonna keep blasting. Oh, hell yes, dude. Dude, Wonderful 7 is such a good fucking move. Alright. Because of AP Drain, we can't use it again right now. So let's just... Let's just do a spit and build up AP again. It's almost dead anyway. Miss me? Can't even use your big attack. Can't even do it. Bye, fucker. That was so much easier, dude. It is crazy how just altering a strategy a little bit, or I guess in this case, like the Berserk helped a lot, can change the entire match. All right, let's hear your song again. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. To the west, your wings must fly to the place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, halls now empty and alone. Venture there and head southbound where your wayward paths shall meet, where cherry blossoms fall to the ground, where grass is pale beneath your feet. A lone dead tree is in this land. Beneath its branches, you must be. Harness lightning where you stand. The path will, be open, up, will open up to thee. Okay. And then maybe there's more after that still. But there's going to be one of those electromagnetism patch thingies on the ground, probably. You seem to be in a bit of a bind, don't you, Mr. Goodfellow? Let me extend a helping hand. I have a new role for you. Do you even understand this place, human? Do you even feel these tunnels breathing? Huh? Breathing? Excuse me? You cannot just say that and then leave. Breathing? We would be wise to return to our place of safety. Are the subways alive, or was that more metaphorical? Or maybe there's something really big Thank alive you. in the subway tunnels? Thank you for accompanying me on this quest, Gecko. I believe Robin Goodfellow was wrong. It may be that my life is but a story in other realms, no. but it matters not. My future is mine to write. She took this surprisingly well. I feel like this could cause an existential crisis for some people. I will find the end of my story on my own terms. <laughs> but from the moment we tied our hearts together in battle, you have become part of my story too. Tied our hearts? I refer to our moment of union in our great battle. When we became of one body, I felt our fates intertwine also. Whilst we may have since parted, I feel that the threads of fate are not so easily disentangled. You say you know of a doorway to leave this land? Well, do I? I mean, I guess so. I guess we're talking about what Morgante is leading us toward. Perhaps if this is found, I shall be re reunited with my brother. Very well. Very well. Let me repay my debt. I shall aid you in your own journey. Aw, thanks, Viola. Hmm. What agenda may our foe Aleph be devising? I do not trust the plans of spirits, Gecko. Alas, you spoke of something else. A clue hidden in a verse that you wish to investigate. Harness lightning where you stand, the path will open up to thee. To me, this reminds me of a code, like a secret gesture or knock, an action you must enact in order to enter a place of great secrecy. Perchance we should resume our travels once more. Did you not hear a rumor of an incident in Lakeside? That could be our next objective if you wished. The movie. Why does everybody want me to go do this? They always recommend this one. Like, we can if you really fucking want to. Maybe it's more important than I think. Maybe it's actually a subway or something. It could be. If they keep bringing it up, it might be. There's also this abandoned mind, which sounds really interesting, though. And the metal woman. The metal woman sounds interesting. 
but that one's more broad about like where we'd have to go. Let's let's go do the mine next. Um, watch the signposts be like one of the most important things in the game, and I've just been ignoring it. Um, what we are gonna do though, I think what we're gonna do is um, swap around our party a little bit, or rather our partner, not our party. All right, let's let's bring Kaylee back. I want to have Kaylee back on the team. Let's see this thing through together, Kaylee. We started this together and we're going to finish it together. Right over here. Oh, how do we get up there, though? Hold on. Is there a way to get up around here? Oh, we've gotten up here before. I remember this. Although, oh, maybe we don't need to. Maybe it's over here. Hold on. Ah, here. Okay, I don't know how we get into that, though. Well, maybe I can... Okay, can you stop chasing me, please? Can I break through this? Oh, we can. Okay, never mind. Here we go. Ooh, is this somebody's what? journal? Are these spider webs? They're a little big, don't you think? Oh, spider warning. There's probably a giant spider that's going to be in here. The scribble notes say, This reptilian student of the arcane arts can reach its maximum potential if given a tome of magic to study. Salamagus? Is that what they're talking about? Ooh. We're going down into the mines. The mines of Moria. No, not of Moria. But what are you? What is that thing? Claw? We have not seen that shit before. It is spidery. But it's got like a... Like a... Almost like a statue head that it put on. Because you can see the eye underneath it. That's almost like a hat it's wearing. Okay, evasion nullified. Characters inflicted with evasion nullified have evasion stat reduced to 1%. So we ain't dodging shit right now. Uh, silicon slash. Actually, I forget. Is Oh no, there's no interaction with that. We've checked this before. Glass only has an interaction with electric. Um, this thing is cool. I like Fairy Claw. It's really, it's really unique looking. Goodbye. I kind of want to catch it. Again, like, I don't know if I'm going to use new monsters at this point in the game, but like, I don't know. I kind of want to try to catch it. I don't know if this will kill. I, I'm trying to just do a little more damage to it. Web wrap. Miss. Please don't kill. Oh, thank goodness. Tripwire sticky spray. That That's what it, uh, did the nullify thing to us. All right, let's use, uh, where, oops, other, other thing here. Um, it is metal type. Do we have, we do have a ferrochrome tape. Use that. And you are going to go for Bish Bash Bosh. Doink. Stab in the dark. Ooh, that was a cool animation. This thing is fucking cool, man. We got it. Fair claws have only recently been discovered on New World due to their habitats keeping uh, being deep underground cave networks. They adorn themselves with ancient death masks they unearth from the tombs of ancient civilizations. That is so metal, dude. That is awesome. Sticky spray, trip wire. Oh, this was a passive. Chance to automatically use the next move for zero AP when an opponent uses a melee attack. Oh, okay. I see. It's like a little trap. It's a tripwire trap when they hit you. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay, that extended part of the bridge over there. I assume this is the other. Oh, note that gets us back up here. It jumped after us and caught us. Did you see that? It literally leapt up in the air. All right, we'll just we'll just try to take these things out quickly. 
I do want to keep gaining experience because the battles have been getting kind of tough and things are pretty high level. Like, I, I'm somebody who very much, like, I kind of rush through games a little bit or more so, like, I just, I don't like level grinding. I'm somebody who in RPGs will often run away from random encounters and mostly just do the important battles. But sometimes you really got to just do some battles and get experience. So I'm going to try to do that here. Okay, got tripwired. That's fine, honestly. I don't think we were gonna dodge many of this thing's moves anyway. But it would be kind of a cool combo to, if their evasion is nullified and you were asleep, uh, although I guess the sleep moves probably aren't very good, but there is that move um, we have, I forget what it's called, but you put yourself to sleep in exchange for your stats getting boosted. That could be an interesting combo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of our rewinds so that we don't die immediately. Or that Masquerattle doesn't die. Here, heal you up, buddy. Okay. Um, oh, I wonder if we can glide to that. We probably can. Yes, we can. Okay, we don't need to extend the bridge more. What is this one gonna do? Oh, cool. Okay, so now we can use it to get up over there. Hi. Hello. Oh, we're just we're just moving the floor. Oh, we go down deeper. I see. We are just going down into the depths of the earth here. Doing some spelunking today. Okay. That probably brings us back up, I would guess. Oh, what the? What was that? What what was that? I don't know what happened with the physics there. Oh, nope, we're dead. <laughs> the thing jumped after us. It leapt over the side of the cliff with us. These things are relentless. Get smashed. And then we get a revenge strike. Hell yeah. Oh, these things are nasty. Will we get revenge strike again? Will this kill? Yes, it will. Yeah, in hindsight, Masquerade is not the best thing to use here since we're fighting uh, metal types. Try hitting this, motherfucker. Oh, and now you use a poison move. Of course you do. Oh, that just, that just killed it. We just murdered that thing. Oh, is this not? Oh, okay. I thought that that was something breakable. Oh, hi. It's a trap worm. Or is that what they were called? Yeah, trap worm. I love this thing. This thing is just, it's so goofy. Look at it. Sharp edges. Okay, we are going to just take this thing out because I don't want to deal with it. Oh yeah, that'll take Masquerade out. That's okay. Okay, get rid of you and then we can deal with this guy over here. So we don't want to use... Um, uh, what was I just going to say? Melee moves. We don't want to use melee attacks on it because it's got the, the trap thingy set up right now. But we could trick it and then uh, steal some AP. Got one. I'm gonna take a chomp, but we are radioactive. So take that. Okay, we got sleep, very good. Very, very good. We'll just keep doing trick. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna take damage from hitting it. Oh yeah, especially if we're gonna do that much damage, we'll just kill it next turn. Sleepwalk. Yeah, see our evasion is nullified, so that combo's actually 
pretty good. Obviously, it didn't know it was going to get put to sleep, but... More burn. That wonderful seven will take it out here. Anything would take it out here, actually. I suppose we could have tried to catch it there. Oh, well. Oh, we got an uncommon preemptive strike. That does extra damage. Oh, per empty slot, though. Okay, let, is that worth using, though? Let's check you. Because, like, right now, we don't... I mean, we could use Trip. Deja Vu gives you multi-strike. Fish Bash Bosh, Crystal Lens. kind of like our moves right now. But what we could do... We don't really... We don't really use this. We also aren't even... We don't... Well, we have some ranged, I guess. But yeah, so take this off. And then... Wait, where's where's the preemptive strike? We have revenge strike. Oh, we don't have preemptive strike set up on you. Never mind. Um, should we? Should we do that? What would we take off? Maybe trip? Replace that with the new preemptive strike. There we go. But we cannot use... Oh, you're at five stars. Ooh, you are going to evolve. I think Jormungold is the evolution, unless it's a split one where we can choose. But we have seen that one. Um, let's bring... So we've been fighting... We've been fighting metal types. I guess this is... Oh, Pinbolt would be pretty good. Although it is damaged already. Let's... Let's heal Pinbolt's. Although we might almost be done with this cave. Let's just see where this goes. Ooh, what is this? What is going on here? Oh, it's a golden one. Hi. Arclaw? Okay. Let's get rid of the little guys first. Let's inflame you. Ooh, that didn't do as much as I hoped it would. Okay. Take you out. And uh, let's bite the other one. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Get rid of you. Yeah, trip wired. That's fine. I'm actually not really worried about that. Silicon slash should take you out, and then I'm going to do poison here and also heal you. Uh, here we go. Oh, we're just gonna get poisoned again, but it's whatever. Stab in the dark. Okay. This should take it out. Good. All right. Now we just have to deal with this thing. We're just going to go for bites. Get our HP back. Ow. I wonder if this is actually an evolution or if it's the, um, just like a, a special version, I guess. It's, it's probably an evolution. It just looks very, very similar aside from the gold. Okay. I think, I think we're, we're done here. I think this, this should be the last turn. Nice. Vengeful Curse. I mean, you can do that. The fight's over, right? 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 Okay, cool. Headshot. Hell yeah. Okay.
Okay. Let's put some people up front who are not about to die. Let's get you in here. Actually, Folklord's okay. It still has like half health. Ooh. Oh, because now we can get to that higher level. What are these for? What is the, what is the point of those? Oh, hi. That's what that was. I just saw something on the ground and I wasn't sure. We are leaving. I do not want to fight you. I love their little legs. The trap worms are so silly. Hi, I don't really want to fight you. I don't really want to fight you. Come on, there we go. That looks like a secret doorway. Maybe that's gonna open up when we press a switch or something. I, I don't I don't wanna fight you. Yes, that opens that. But how do we open this chest is the question. Oh, it's already open, Never mind. I thought it was a locked one. Magic tome hits one target and lowers ranged defense. Okay. What is this? Hi? What are you? Oh. What was that? Did we startle that monster? It looks like it escaped into the ground. Next time we find it somewhere, let's try to sneak up on it without it seeing us. Well, how could I have done that? Does it come back if we go back in? No. Oh, I bet it's going to show up by the other crystals, though. Right? Maybe? Oh, pff, I went too far. Maybe? No, I don't see it. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what it wants us to do. I mean, should we leave? Should we go back up a floor? It's not up here either. Where did it go? Where did it go? Is it still going to be in the mine somewhere? Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was go, oops, all the way back up. Here we go. Well, this takes us out of the mine. Right? I mean, this is the first floor. Huh. Okay, well, I will come back to this. I, I want to go heal because we need to. Uh, we can also remaster Masqueradle. And then we'll come back and see if it has showed up again. I don't know if the implication was like, it's gonna show up somewhere else in the game or just somewhere else in the mine. I don't know for sure. All right, it's time, Masqueradle. Okay, which aspect do you embody? Elegance or ruthlessness? The thing is, I don't know which one Jormungold would be. I assume ruthlessness, but I mean, I don't know for sure. I kind of just want to see which other, whichever one we haven't seen yet. I kind of wish I had saved before this so I could do both. We'll say elegance. Oh, I don't like Martyusa. Okay, well, that's what it becomes. I had no idea that this was from that evolution line. Like it has snake hair, but it, yeah, I would, I guess that makes sense with the mask. I suppose it makes sense. Damn, I wish I had saved before we did this remaster. I really, really would rather have Gold. The Martyusa isn't an individual, but a hive mind, a collection of a tiny serpent of tiny serpentile creatures with a singular unified goal. In this case, that goal is for the Martyusa to dress like it's on its way to a fancy ball and to have a good time doing it. Well, that is a fair goal. I respect it. Um, this thing is probably not going to stay on the team. <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. I should have saved first. I should have saved first. Well, it's 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 whatever now. All right. Well, what else do we have that we are interested in using? All right, we'll bring we'll bring Decibel back. We haven't used you in so long. You should check your stickers. Remember what you have. You have Quick Smack. You have Echolocation. 
Oh, you get multi-target at the start of the battle. I forgot about that. Sonic boom, raise arms. Okay, I need to organize these better. These are a mess. Do I want provoke on you? What else do you have that we could put on? Headshot. You can get Gambit. AP Drain. Peekaboo. Delegate. Icicle Dart. Are you fast? You're kind of fast. Not, not super fast. Change the record. Do you learn Toy Hammer? Oh, Energy Wave is pretty good. It is pretty good. Although if you have multi-target, you're going to hit the whole team anyway. At least you ha for a few turns you have it anyway. Fog. Uh, AP donate. What was liftoff? Oh, yeah. Mm. Copy that. Zephyr. Taunt is what I was thinking of before, where you can only use damaging moves. That's what I was thinking of. What's Hurricane? Ooh, let's put Hurricane on. There we go. All right, welcome back, Decibel. Are you gonna come back, little guy? No, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's not in the mines. Maybe it shows up somewhere else in the world. Have we ever seen these crystals anywhere else? It doesn't feel like we have. It, it doesn't look familiar to me. But you can't, like, interact with them in any way. Like, I can't pick them up or do anything with them. So that's kind of interesting. All right. Well, I'm not sure uh, what we got out of this quest or, like, what we're supposed to do now. But maybe that thing will show up somewhere else. Uh, for now, we'll just, we'll just leave, I guess. All right. Well... We will finally go do the freaking signposts because everybody has been telling us to. We're just going to go do it. Uh, what is the best way to get there? Although actually, while we're down here, I do want to explore. Just just explore these parts of the map we haven't been to yet just so that opens up and we can see what's going on. Another landkeeper. Hi. Yeah. The existence of an endless cosmos of worlds poses a unique challenge to landkeepers such as ourselves. Land derives its value from its scarcity, but in an infinite multiverse, there is no such thing. Oh, you're gonna battle us. I thought we were done doing this since you have kind of been defeated. Your whole little cult thing. Um... Oh, we can also use it later. That's why that's there. I was like, why Why is that still showing up, even though it's a passive? Jump scare. Poison wall. That's annoying. Oh, it's up on you. Okay. Well, it's still annoying. Can this kill, please? Thank you. We'll just lower the turns on that. Oh, don't steal my AP. Okay, good, it missed. Oh, good, roll again is very good here. Get rid of that fucking wall. Battery you, and then Sonic Boom. Doink. What else have you got? Oh, we're gonna roll again. Sands of time. We do not want to be in here as an electric type. Uh, we are going to hurricane. Oh, jeez. Clobber. All right. Go ahead and take a bite out of that sand. And uh, just spit on him. Take a bite. Om nom nom. It, it feels kind of bad defeating them now that we know that they're just like vessels. 
However, New World acts as a kind of cosmic trap. Nobody can leave, and thus land becomes precious. So although we landkeepers currently face challenges on this tiny island, over time it will become a paradise, a solid investment. Alright, you do you, I guess. Ooh. We uncovered a little secret there. We'll check that out in a bit. I mean, probably not in this episode, but we'll we'll go in and see what's up. There's a fire over here on the beach. Okay. What else? We still got to go south a little bit. Is there anything out in the ocean that's important? Oh, is this a captain? You look very much like a captain. Very much so. We are not going to do that right now, but we'll remember that that's here. Water camouflage and a superconductive tape. Okay. Got another island over here. Not sure what the point of this is, but it's there. And then we have the Lost Hearts Graveyard. So that's how we get here. So let it see what is going on in this graveyard. Oh, these are all pawn deaths. Okay, good to know. Well, maybe not all, but like some of them will be. Should we fight them? I don't know. Should we fight them? We'll fight them. Actually, no, plastic isn't good to switch into. Let's go Earth. And then we'll just spit on both for now. Oh, that's going to help the plant type, though. Yeah, this was not a good combo overall, but... Oh, no, that uproots them. Never mind. I don't know why I always get this backwards. I, I don't know why. I think I'm thinking it like, you know, the wind carries seeds or something like that, and so it's a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. Bye. Bye. Clobber. Okay. So we're gonna have to move these statues around. Oh, you are like a, are you a ghost? Uh oh, a ghost. No, I, I think it's the other way around, buddy. I think it might be the other way around. Oh, I did not mean to use broadcast. I was trying to just do spit. Oh, you're ghostly. Oh, but it's infinity. Uh-oh. That's not good. Um. Well, we don't have... Shoot, we don't have an answer for this anymore. Um. Do we just... Do we just lose? Because we can't do anything? Excuse me? I, what does haunt do? I forget. Well, we become ghostly. Do we have, we don't have something that like reduces weight. Remove status. We do have it on you. I didn't remember that. Not broadcast. That's what's messed up. I, I meant for smack to be the first thing. Okay, new leaf on you. But if we didn't have that, I think you just lose here. You have to have some way to remove ghost leaf. Here, we're gonna bring our own one in. Hello. Preemptive strike. And we'll go for bite. Thank goodness we had new leaf on. Boy hammer. Okay. Well we'll go we'll go for another bite. This'll do. Stab in the dark. We got it. Power 100. Oh, it's only 10% accuracy, though. Interesting. But you really want a way to boost Oops. that first. Oh, sorry. There's a rumor of a ghost around here, and I thought it was you. Oh, no. That's really sad. I always find graveyards kind of spooky, and this one is no different. 
That's valid. I like graveyards. I, I don't know what it is. They feel peaceful to me. I actually like graveyards. Um, hello? Did this just move or was that my imagination? Where where are the other... Are we going to have to turn all of these around the other direction? I'm just trying to figure out what it wants us to do here. I don't want to be poisoned. Get me out of here. Okay. Well, how do we get up there? Maybe we do have to do something with these. No, I didn't want to fight you either. I wanted to interact with the statue. Get out of here. Get out of here. What happens if we flip them all around? Will that do anything? Okay, now, oh, now they're all facing away. Okay, that is what we had to do. I thought it was going to be like the other puzzles with those, where multiple turn at once. Alright. There's all kinds of monsters up here, but I don't see anything else to do. Alright, since it's just one little guy, and we get a preemptive strike, we might as well just go ahead and fight this. even do quick smack and see if that kills. Yep, there we go. Oh, you have a vengeful curse. I don't really care about that, though, because the battle's over. Bye. Okay. Can we interact with this somehow? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a switch. Oh, it is a subway station. All right. Well, I, we don't really have time to do that right now. Well, actually, I guess I guess we do. I guess we could fight this right now. Are we ready to? Not really. I mean, maybe we don't need Pinbolt. We could swap with, I don't know. What would we want to pair with this? Maybe Trifinks? We'll just go in and see what this is like. A lot of the Archangels we don't beat on the first try. Um, we'll just kind of see what it's like. Ooh. Oh, it's a tomb station. Oh, it's even more haunting than the other ones have been. Oh my goodness. What an unfortunate end for you. A dead end, you might say. Oh, is this going to be like a dungeon type thing? I'm going to try really hard to ignore that our names are on these gravestones. That is very freaky. Here lies Gecko. Died this year, AD, age unknown. Rest in peace. Haley, 1983 to question mark. Followed a foot to her, a fool to her doom. Not even for the first time. Oh, is it? Uh, are we the fool? Haley followed us to her death. That is so depressing. Oh my gosh. Show me how much you wish to survive. Fight for your very lives. Okay. We're fighting a pond dead. We have fought many of these before. A key steel. Nice. We should just take it out here, right? Yeah. And you're asleep. And also dead. <laughs> Amusing. I wish to see more. Oh, is this gonna this is gonna be long, isn't it? We're gonna get into some shenanigans in here. A wrong turn down here will send you to your grave. Yeah, uh, yeah, quite literally. Let's try going this way. Nope. Okay, so up was right. But then which way? Maybe right? Nope. Okay, so let's try going up twice. It's gonna be one of those freaking mazes. Okay, this is new. A reward for your efforts. Rest up, weary ones. I don't trust this. I've changed my mind. You'll rest when you're six feet under. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't trust this at all. 
Oh, this is gonna be much harder than the battle we just did. Oh no. Um, I'm scared. I'm scared. Please give me your AP. Oh no. Okay, radioactive pops, which is good. No, smack try things so you get burned too. Okay, I'm gonna take you out. Sonic boom on both of y'all. Ooh, nice damage. Come on, Kaylee. Also fantastic damage. Yeah, your vengeful curse pops. I think we'll be okay though. We should kill next turn, even if Kaylee misses. Oh no, don't call for help, you motherfucker. Um, let's see if shooting star is enough. Come on. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That should end the battle. Right, okay. We don't have to fight the other one. Last rights. Ooh, cool. I think we've seen something use that against us before. Okay, maybe now we go right? No, but there's a note. A tomb clue. Oh, it has some directions written in blood? Part of it has been torn off. Up, up, down, down. There's a lot of insane laughter scribbled on it. Okay. Up, up, down, down. I wasn't even thinking about going back down, but I do want to... Oh, wait, huh? I wanted to go get that chest, but it didn't let me. Oh, down, down. We fly over this way now. Oh no, Kaylee! Come back. No. Okay. Try again. Up. Up. Down. Down. Oops. Oh, down? <gasps> that down. Oh, that was an accident, but that's actually what we needed to do. Hi. There'll be demand for land to bury the dead on for as long as people keep dying. It's a guaranteed revenue stream. That is an interesting proposition. Are you selling enough graveyards for that to be worth it? Okay, just a little smack. We should be fine with that. Come on, Jellytone. Yes, hit me. I want you to get, oh, you know, you can't get burned. Although being trapped is nice too. Okay, I want to get you out of here. Actually, you put on a curse. Maybe we should kill the other one first. Maybe that is smarter. And then the battle will be over and the curse won't matter. Retribution. Never mind, you get that now. You just have all kinds of shit, don't you? Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Ow, that killed both of us. What the fuck? Not nice. Not nice at all. We are gonna sonic boom you and bite you. Yeah, you have a freaking vengeful curse. I don't care. Oh, actually the battle might not be over. They could have another, that did so much status to us. What the hell? This is a tough, dungeon area. Okay, you get self-destruct. I want to take that off. I don't want that on. Maybe I should quit being a land keeper and become a grave keeper instead. I mean, you could. Um, let me make sure that Trifinx is not going to blow up on us. Okay, it did not automatically equip because we didn't have room. Man, we, uh, we got to get out of here and heal. We also, knowing how long this area is now, we don't actually have time to do all this. Um, so we'll, we'll go through this dungeon thingy next time. Oh, can we not leave now? Um, what if I want to leave though? What if I want to leave though? Okay, the first half has been torn off. The directions lead left, right, left, right. I guess we can't get out of here right now. Up, up, down, down. Left. 
Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. What the fuck? We don't have the pass, right? This drop looks rather deadly, doesn't it? Be careful not to fall. Left. Is that the pass? How did that get here? Oh, nope, but that was a trick. We aren't supposed to take it. I keep getting tricked. You're just supposed to go through the, the right doors immediately and not fuck with the stuff in the room. Put up a wall, fuck you. Fuck you. Get that out of here. Haunt. Oh, you die in three turns, though. Okay. Should I also haunt? Uh, and then just a wall, I guess. Now we just survive. Because your counter should go down faster than mine. Because I'm setting up, setting it up a turn after. Yeah, theirs is down to two. So we won't actually die before the battle's over. I'm just going to slow you down for fun. I don't fucking know. It doesn't really matter. We just need to survive for two more turns. Trippia? Our wall is still up. It doesn't really matter what we do. Ow. Oh, we can do contact damage. That's interesting. I wonder if you can do damage with status as well, then. Glass bonds. They take damage each time they transform. Interesting, we haven't seen that yet. Bye, though. Man, we are we are not doing so hot right now. Okay, we need to get back to the start. Yeah, because we got fucked up on which room we were in. Up, up. Down, down. And then left. Right, left, right. Did it, was it, oh, did it start with right? Was it right, left? Is that what I did wrong? Do we have here? No, left, right, left, right. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Well, there must be, now there must be another note we have to find. Okay, up. Up, down, down, left, right, left, right, right, no, okay, up, up, down, down, Left, right, left, right. We haven't tried up yet. We, we might have to go back left again. Up, up. I think that's the only direction we haven't tried yet. Down, down. Left, right, left, right. And then left again? No. Didn't we try every direction in that last room? Do we have to fight this? Does that trigger something? I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll try fighting them. Sonic boom both of them. 
AP refund, love that. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay, it's on Kaylee, that's fine. Oh, no, we might be dead. Okay, no, they're going for Kaylee. I just wanna live this turn so that I can take one of them out. There we go. Oh boy, we are down to our last two monsters here. This is not looking good for us. And one of them's almost dead. Let's, um, let's use an item on you. Let's go ahead and heal Mascot Torn. Mascot Torn. I never know how to say it. Ow. Jeez. Okay. We should take it out now. Good thing Folklord is fast. Got some skelly jelly. There we go. Okay, got it. The clock strikes midnight. You humans all must face death eventually, so do not keep me waiting. We got the train ticket. Cool. Now which fucking way do we go? Can I please leave? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm not allowed to leave! I hate this. Up, up. Because I don't have time to do this now. I thought we were almost done. Like, I thought we could just waltz in here, do the battle. And that'd be the end of it. Left, right. Left. Right. And then we got the pass. And then... And then what? How do we get the fuck out of here? Can we fast travel right now? Oh, we can! We can travel out of here! Okay, cool. I did not expect us to be able to do that. Okay, never mind. So we're going to do that battle next time. I'm going to go heal right now. Um, okay. So I, I realize what we need to do now. Now that we have the pass, we can follow the path we were on before. And when we get to the room that has the slot for the pass, now we have it and we can use it. So that's how we'll get in. But we are going to do that next time. Um, I know I said we were going to go in and do this. I didn't know... The dungeon was so long. We're already at time. I don't have more time to record right now. So we are just going to end the episode there. Uh, and we'll kick it off with an Archangel next time. Um, there are a lot more Archangels in this game than I thought there were going to be. Um, I didn't, I mean, I didn't know how many to expect. But I keep thinking that we have found them all. And then it just keeps going. Um, so that's cool. We'll have another one to see next time. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode.